Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a Monday night episode of Ben Buys Beverages. Now, before we get in to the actual video, I want to point out that yes, I have changed venues yet again. Last time it was a fire. Now we're in where most of my videos are going to be filmed now, the, the back bedroom. Now that my son is gone, I've taken it over. So thanks, Owen. Anyhow, before I do this video, I want to remind everyone to please hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the notification bell. Now, tonight I had an opportunity to go to Cottage Hill Package Store, and what do I find? Lo and behold, something else worthy of one of these crawlers that they have. These big 32-ounce cans that they fill draft while you wait. Anyhow, and this one is oh, the guy who wrote this. His handwriting's not the best, but that's okay. It's Edmunds Oast, perhaps? Extra Special Sichuan ESB 5.5% ABV. Now, the reason I bought this was not for me to trip over pronunciations, but because of its special ingredient. The special ingredient being black pepper. All right, let's open this up and hope it doesn't make a mess on my table turned desk here. All right, I got the big glass. Check the pour. Oh, look at that. Only minimal spillage. Lots of head. Next time I'll have a towel when I do this, yeah? Luckily, I've got these fancy Old Majestic coasters. A couple of those to keep my table mostly dry. You can smell the black pepper. I mean, it's got the beer smell, but there's overwhelming... Well, that's a strong adjective. There's noticeable black pepper in the smell, but if you hold it up, I don't see any black pepper floating in it, which is good, which is so much better than the time I made my own black pepper infused vodka, which was just a big old glass of vodka and the black pepper shaker. And I squished it in, I ground it in, and then it all floated and it was awful. So I stirred it up and it was still awful but I hadn't had black pepper stuck in my teeth. So I'm hoping the, uh, the professionals did a better job. So here we go. Oh, that's good. It's a noticeable peppery taste, but not like strong, like spicy, like, ah, uh, just, just a taste of it. Otherwise, it's a very smooth beer. It's very smooth, very peppery. It's very different. And certainly as a novelty, it's great. I'm gonna say seven out of 10 bottle caps simply because black pepper is a bit odd. So, but I'm certainly gonna drink it. So if you like black pepper in your drinks or something different, I know for a fact the Cottage Hill Packet Store has it. So here's to you. Cheers.